السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپس یو آل ول بی فائن ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا فیو ٹاپکس وچ آر ایڈریسنگ آف ایس ایل سی فائیو ہنڈریڈ پی ایل سی اینڈ دیئر انپٹ اینڈ آؤٹ پٹ ماڈیولس دس از لیکچر نائن آف ویک فائیو یو کین ایکسیس دس پی ڈی ایف اینڈ ایٹس ویڈیو ایٹ دی پورٹل ڈاٹ سو ڈاٹ ای ڈی یو ڈاٹ پی کے so we will switch to the next slide we before going to the next lecture uh, we we will review the previous lecture in previous lecture we have studied about a rake based io system the ln broadly plc chassis and rake remote input and output rake ln broadly plc5 rake slot based addressing format we have also studied about ln broadly plc500 rake or slot based addressing format so as shown in this slide we have discussed the addressing format of plc5 and plc500 of the ln broadly brand in the previous lecture so we will switch to the next slide these are the objectives of the today lecture the first objective of the lecture is to define bit and word level addressing in slc 500 plc controller which is the brand of allen broadley the second objective is allen broadley control logics tag based addressing format the third objective of the lecture is typical pc interface code the next objective is typical combination input and output module we will discuss plug in terminal block which is used in the ln broadly plc we will also discuss 16 or 32 or 64 point io module so these are the few objectives which we will study in today lecture so we will switch to the next slide so what is the difference between bit level addressing format and word level addressing format in slc 500 plc controller we know that every input and output device connected to a discrete input io module is addressed to a specific bit in the plc memory we know that the other architecture of plc consists of cpu input and output module and the power supply in central processing unit the memory module is also attached with it so we can store the bit information of the input or output module which are in the form of discrete input or output module a bit is a binary digit that can be either 1 or 0 it means that a bit can be represented by high pulse or low pulse and this information can be stored in the memory of plc analog io modules use a word addressing format which allow the entire words to be addressed if we connect the analog input or output module with the analog io module of plc so we will use word addressing format if we use the discrete component such as the limit switch or toggle switch or selector switch or discrete sum sensor which may be the uh, the inductive sensor or capacitive sensor 
we will use bit for that memory the bit part of the address is usually not used however bits of the digital representation of the analog value can be addressed by the programmer if necessary bit level and word level addressing as it applies to an SLC 500 controller shown in the next slide we can use bit level and word level addressing format to the SLC 500 Allen Broadley controller we will discuss bit level and word level addressing in the next slide so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the schematic diagram of bit level addressing in SLC 500 PLC controller in the center you can see the module which consists of CPU and, and CPU memory here you can see this block this block represents the processor memory and the processor memory consists of program files and data files it means that processor memory can be divided into data files and program files here you can see the programming of PLC for a specific control logic in the left side you can see the input module which has been connected to the processor of PLC here you can see the discrete inputs uh, this is closed discrete input and this is normally open discrete input here you can see the address i colon one zero it means that uh, this device is connected as an input and this one is connected is also as an input so here you can see the bit level here th this one is 0 and here you can see 1 so this represent the, uh, the address of the input which has been represented by the schematic symbol of switch like this and here you can see the inputs and the data files here the switch is closed so here we can represent it as a one and here you can see the input which is normally open and the bit for normally open is zero it means that we can use zero for normally open and we can use one for normally closed as shown in the schematic diagram here you can see the output module which has been connected to the processor of SLC controller here this is the picture of output module which has been connected to the processor of PLC and here you can see the output which is represented by O and here you can see I which is which represents the input so th this schematic diagram represents the bit level addressing in SLC 500 PLC controller we will switch to the next slide here you can see the schematic diagram of a word level addressing in SLC 500 PLC controller here you can see the the sensor which is thermocouple which act as an analog input and here you can see the meter analog output the address of meter analog output is O Z O 0 colon 2.0 
and here you can see the address of thermocouple analog input which is i which is i 0 colon 2 dot 0 so this is output and this one you can see the processor of SLC 500 PLC controller and here you can see the format the addressing format and the address consists of type slot word and bit if we combine type slot word and bit we can represent these as a address and here you can also see the address which consists of same logic which are type slot word and bit here you can see type is i slot is 2 word is 0 and there is no bit so here you can see 1 i sorry i 2 0 and here you can also see 0 2 0 and there is no bit so here type is i which is which represent input and here and here you can see 0 0 or o which represents the output so in this way we can use word level addressing in slc 500 plc controller we will switch to the next slide Ellen Broadley control logics take base addressing format Ellen Broadley control logics take base addressing format is shown in the next slide we will see next slide which shows the Ellen Broadley control logic take base addressing format this is the Ellen Broadley control logic take based addressing format we will discuss this later with logix 5000 controller you use a tag alphanumeric name to address data variables instead of a fixed numeric format the tag name itself identifies the data if we use tag name it will be very easy to understand for the designer to make the input and output with the PLC instead of alphanumeric value we can use the tag name the field devices are assigned tag names that are referenced when the PLC ladder logic program is developed we can assign tag names to the field devices is is given in the slide the field devices are assigned tag names that are referenced when a plc ladder logic program is developed it means that when we program the plc in p in plc programming we can use the input and output command so for that command we can use the address of input and output but we can assign the tag names as well to the field devices the field devices may be in the form of input or output so we will switch to the next slide LM Broadly control logics tag based addressing format here you can see the LM Broadly PLC and this shows the command here you can see the 
take pointing to base address this shows the take and this one is the description assigned to allies take which represents start if we press switch or if we execute this command it will start something or process or control this is the base address and this one is the instruction input which is normally open so in this way we can use the tag base addressing format for ln broadly control logics we will switch to the next slide ln broadly control logics tag base addressing format PC based control runs on personal or industrial hardened computers also known as soft PLCs they simulate the functions of a PLC on a PC allowing open architecture systems to replace to replace the PLCs this implementation uses as input and output card as shown in the next slide in conjunction with PC as an interface for the field devices so these are the some points related to LM Broadly control logics take base addressing format we will switch to the next slide here you can see the PC interface code we can also use this PC means per personal computer here you can see some ICs which has been connected with the interface code which may provide the functionality so we will switch to the next slide typical combination of input and output module combination of input and output modules can have both the input and output connections in the same physical module as illustrated in the next slide a module is made up of printed circuit board and terminal assembly in the previous slide you can see the module so this is a module in which you can see the printed circuit board printed circuit board means PCB this is PCB in which different devices has been connected or mounted on PCB and here you can see the and here you can see the interface of the unit the printed circuit board contains the electronic circuitry used to interface the circuit of the processor with that of the input and output devices modules are designed to plug into a slot or a connector in the IO rack or directly into the processor so we will switch to the next slide the terminal assembly which which is attached to the front edge of the printed circuit board is used for making field wiring connection modules contain terminals for each input and output connection Stat status lights for each of the input and output and connection to the power supply used to power the inputs and outputs we can use different power supply with the input and output module in order to provide power terminal and status light arrangements vary with different manufacturers 
the location and the style of status light and the design of terminal can be vary with different manufacturers so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the typical combination of IO module in this module we have combined the input and output module you can see the status LED of the input and output here so this block is called status indicator and the rest one is the combination of inputs and outputs you can see the inputs so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 8 so there are so there are 8, eight input and here you can see the outputs 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 8 outputs and we have used power supply to the inputs and outputs module so this is the schematic diagram of typical combination of input output module and this one is the pictorial diagram of typical combination of IO module so we will switch to the next slide plug-in terminal block most PLC's module have plug-in wiring terminal strips terminal block is plugged into the actual module is illustrated in the next slide if there is a problem with the module the entire strip is moved and the new module is, in, is inserted and the terminal strip is plugged into the new module so it is very if we remove one module from the previous one so we will use strip for that purpose unless otherwise specified never install or remove IO modules or terminal blocks where the PLC is powered so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the pictorial diagram of plug-in terminal block we will switch to the next slide plug-in terminal block a module inserted into the wiring slot could be damaged by improper voltages connected through the wiring arm most face plates and IO modules are kept are key to prevent putting the wrong face plate on on the wrong module in other words an output module cannot be placed in the slot where the input module was originally located so these were the some important points about plug-in terminal block so we will switch to the next slide input and output modules can be placed anywhere in a rack but they are normally grouped together for ease of wiring input and output modules can be 8 16 32 or 64 point card as shown in the next slide the number of refers to the number of inputs or outputs available the standard io module has eight inputs or outputs a high density module may have up to 64 inputs or outputs the advantage with the high density module is that it is possible to install up to 64 inputs or outputs in one slot for greater space savings the only disadvantage is that the high density output modules cannot handle as much current per output so there is deficiency of current in a high density output modules and this may be occur in the input module as well if the 
if the input module is highly density so we will switch to the next slide so these are the high density module input module or output module which can be connected to 64 output of PLC so we will switch to the next slide ok guys thank you so much for your time thank you for your attention Allah Hafiz